What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today and today we're looking at a LumaFusion tutorial. A lot of you guys have been asking me for more tutorials on LumaFusion which is something I don't really use very often and I don't really know what types of things to bring to you guys so I thought I'd bring this cool effect. It's like speed ramping, you do have to shoot this in slow motion but what better to do that with than your own phone. I didn't use my phone for this tutorial but we're gonna edit on my phone and we'll kind of take a look at that. This will be kind of like for Instagram, so it's gonna be in the aspect ratio of vertical. We're gonna edit this on my iPhone 10. A lot of the phones that are coming out right now are super powerful, you know, the new 10S, the 10S Max. Uh, even the 8 is just as powerful as the 10. So we'll take a look at this and we'll start editing some video. All right, so jumping into LumaFusion, if you haven't actually used LumaFusion or you don't know anything about LumaFusion, check out my tutorial up here on how to set things up and how to edit and stuff like that. This is gonna be kind of a little bit more advanced. This is gonna be going beyond where we learned how to edit, but, but the first thing we're gonna do is click the plus button here. We're gonna set up our first project here, so we're gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna call it test. We're gonna leave the frame rate at 30, but we're gonna change the aspect ratio to nine by 16 so that the video is actually vertical. I filmed a vertical. This is kind of more for Instagram, so phones that are vertical. If you love vertical video, you're gonna like this. If not, well, I'm sorry, but I don't like vertical video that much either, but we're gonna do it this way. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna go nine by 16 and that's it. It's basically all you have to do. So we're gonna click the plus button on create this project and it's gonna set up a timeline for you. Now, depending on how you have it set up, you can actually change the windowing, the framing, the workspace, whatever you wanna call it. But I have it set up like this because it works the best for vertical video as well as working off my iPhone, which doesn't have a ton of screen real estate. If you're working on an iPad, you might want to go back to the normal layout like this. But as you can tell, the little video area there is really small and it's hard to see what's going on. So I'm going to go back. I like this layout the best. So we have all our files on the left hand side, our video preview on the right hand side, and then our timeline below that. So the first thing I'm going to do is import audio because I like to edit to the audio. So we're going to go up here. I'm gonna click on import media. So we're gonna drop this audio file into our timeline down here. So this audio clip is super short. Now we're gonna import our video. So we're gonna go up to the file here and have it saved right to my phone. So we're gonna go to albums and all the video I'm gonna use is right here. So the first clip we're gonna work with here is this one. So we're gonna click on it, drag it down to the timeline. I'm gonna have to rotate this. So I'm gonna double click on it. So I'm going to find the spot that I want to start at, which is walking in somewhere around there. So I'm going to cut that. So I just found a glitch. I did something that I didn't want to do and I want to undo it, but the undo option is not showing. But when I change the workspace to this one, you can see that the undo button is here. So for some reason in this workspace, which is basically the same thing, just the video on the other side, there's no undo. So I'm going to switch the workspace over to this side because sometimes I need to undo stuff. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So I deleted that out of there. Now it's gonna start right on the audio here like this. But I want this to be slow motion. I don't want it to be the full speed. So I'm actually gonna double click on that. It's gonna take us into our speed options here. And I did this in one of my other tutorials showing how to slow down video. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna actually slide this down to a quarter of the speed, right about there. You can see it's gonna play back in slow motion now. We're gonna go back. So now this whole clip will play in slow motion. I shot this at 120 frames per second, so I'm able to slow this down into our 30 frames per second timeline. So this is where the effect's gonna come in. We're gonna go from slow to fast. So I'm gonna find a spot on the timeline where I want the actual clip to jump and speed up. Um, in something like Premiere, you can do this. It's called speed ramping. In this, there's no option to actually ease into it, so it's just gonna go from slow to fast, but it still looks pretty cool. So in the first snare hit, where it goes ding, ding, ka, it's gonna go right fast and then ramp back down. So on that ding, ding. So that snare hit right there, we're gonna cut this. I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna actually go back to its normal speed of 100%. If I zoom in here, you'll see what I'm talking about. So see that waveform there where it jumps right there? That's where it's gonna actually speed up. So it's gonna go slow, and then it's gonna go fast, but only for a couple seconds, then it's gonna go back to slow again. So basically on the next foot step, when she drops it back down about there, we're gonna go slow again. So I'm gonna cut that, double click on this. 
We go in here and then slow us back down to a quarter. And back out. So it gives it kind of that like jump. So on this next snare hit, I actually want to make it cut back out and go to the next clip. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. So that right there, we're going to cut on that. But what I want to actually do is speed ramp this up right at the last second. So it's going to go into the next clip fast. So it's going to go like slow walking and do. So we're going to speed up right on the ch-ch. So I'm going to cut this right here. We're going to go in here and we're going to speed this back up to 100. I guess it's calling it one, so one to one speed. We're going to go to where this cuts right on this hit right here. And then that's it. We're going to ditch this clip. We're not going to use it anymore. I'm throw it in the trash and you'll see how that works. So you can see that kind of like slow movement, but it's edited to the music. So the best way to recommend editing this type of thing is to music. So find the track that you're looking for first. So the next thing we need to do is add our next clip in here. And I actually shot this with an Instagram influencer. Her name's Chantel. And we were doing this for shoes, for Instagram. So the next thing will be the shoes since we need to show off the shoes. So I'm gonna use this clip here. You just double click it, it'll go down into the timeline. And I'm gonna find the spot that we wanna actually use. Uh, oh, I actually have to rotate this because I forgot. We shot it in vertical. We're gonna cut that. We're gonna delete the first section. Okay, but I wanna slow this down, so I'm gonna double click on it. We're gonna just use this in slow motion, so there's not gonna be any speed ramping on this. So I'm just gonna go right down to a quarter. So right on that kick drum, we're gonna cut. Delete that out of there. So unfortunately, there's a bit of color change here. I'm gonna to have to color grade. You can see it's a little bit more pink and it's a little bit more green and blue here. And it's because I had to change the white balance midway through. So what we're gonna do is drop in our next clip, which is this one here. And basically, I just got her to walk back and forth towards me. We're gonna slow it down and I'm gonna use the shot where she walks straight towards the camera. We did a couple of different passes. This is the one I think I'm gonna use. So we're gonna start from there, I'm gonna click drag that down to the timeline. So basically what I just did was set my endpoint and then dropped it in. So it started from the exact spot I wanted to start from. Okay, so I'm gonna have to double click this and rotate it. And she walks straight down the street. You double click this and slow it down. So every time we do the speed ramping type of effect, you kind of gotta make sure that it's always in slow motion. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's 120 frames per second or 60, but at least needs to be 60 and then you can go like half the speed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slow this down now. We're gonna click on that speed and reverse. I'm gonna move it all the way down to one quarter again. And now she's gonna walk a little bit more dramatically towards the camera. But what I want to happen is I want her hip to pop on the beat. So it's gonna go slow, hip pop, it's kind of how I want it to work in this video. So what I'm doing is I'm aligning the speed with the beat. So that snare hit right there is where I want this to speed up. So I'm gonna cut that, double click on this. Then we're gonna speed this back up to 100. So on that kick drummer goes, dude, we want it to slow back down again. So we're gonna zoom in here to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing. So I'm gonna cut. And then this is gonna go back down to a quarter of the speed again. So you'll see what's gonna happen here is it's gonna go slow walk, pop, slow walk on the beat. I just think it adds a cool little effect. So I'm gonna keep this going here as she walks. So I want this to end on the actual snare hit here. So I'm gonna cut this and we're just gonna cut this out of here. I think by this point you kind of get the idea of how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and just edit the entire video and show you what it looks like at the end.
Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. Super simple, just going through kind of like a speed ramp type effect in LumaFusion. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. I'll see you in the next one.